pinch people and pull people. All right, as I said in my first video, and if you like this video, please thumbs up, say hi, give me an opinion, I've got no problem. Any help is always good. All right, this part here of these poles, this is cheap pole. This is, was a, a $20 job instead of the $50 jobbers. And you're supposed to be able to twist these, lock and unlock, like that, and then that part slides in. Well, this part was broken, so I took my heat gun, probably a good air, hair dryer would work, and that came out fairly easy. I didn't wreck it like I thought I would. But now we've got this business here. Now, you can see this. They, they put little tiny pings in it to lock this in so it doesn't keep sliding out. And I don't want to wreck this because I, 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 you know, it has actually no purpose that I'm aware of because it doesn't work. <coughs> I don't even know how this thing with an open thing like that is even supposed to lock anything. It's a mystery to me, but it is what it is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume this piece of plastic that's going down here is right about there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pipe cutter and I'm going to drop it right in here so that I can very easily do what I'm going to do, which is I'm going to drill a hole right about in here. I'm going to slide the spring clip into this part. Then this is going to slide in and I'm going to make the holes in that pipe there, therefore curing the sliding hole problem. If the top part doesn't fall off, then this part here will work great. So I'm going to drop it down to here and then I can put this back in if I want to. I'm going to see how it works without it. Because technically that's redundant. I don't need it. But I've tried to get it out without doing that. And <coughs> it didn't go so good. So that's how this goes. This is fairly thin metal. These are supposed to be lightweight poles. It should cut fairly easy, I hope. It's always that first twist in that makes it harder to turn. Ah. Ah. When you don't have great hands, it makes everything a big challenge. And I'd have my son do this for me except for one thing. He's holding the camera. Ah. It would help probably if I had a vice, but even if I did that, this thing probably would slide all, it would bend. It's very, very cheap aluminum. So this should be almost through. Probably help if I didn't have an older 50 year old cutter that keeps sliding to a different slot. I think, I think we got it. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's moving. All right. Let's take this off. I got to do that to the other pole. Let's remove this. Oh, that's why it wasn't coming off so good. Well, that's okay because it's going to slide out of there. I almost had the right. Oh, there's something else in there. Boggers. See, that's when you get these projects that never quite go the way you think they're gonna. But, see, this goes in here like so. And I'm going to put that clip, providing I can get past this thing. I don't know what that's doing in there. Yeah, all right, push that down. All right, that's just sitting there doing nothing. All right, we'll push that in there. It's some kind of a stop. 
So, this part here is going to go in like this. And I'm going to put that pinhole right there. Just I just want that just barely in this hole. Just right there. So that when I slide it, I can put it here or here or here. And then I can have a lock that's actually going to work. And this thing here, I can just slide back down over the whole business after I've got it all the way I want it. Maybe I need to clear, put that up here. Yeah. Because this has got to clear it. So, with that in mind, we've got this here. It's got to go back down there. Uh, let's see here. Let's put the hole. It doesn't really matter where I put it, so let's take that out. Let's see if I can drill a hole here without wrecking my car. Ryan's car. He's watching me with great trepidation, and I might wreck the car. <laughs> He's shaking his head at me. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can do this. I probably, yeah, I hear all of you saying I should have made a pinhole of some sort first, but it seems to be doing okay. Get a little speed happening. As long as the drill doesn't slip, I'll be all set. You gotta love Ryobi tools. There we go. <clears throat> we got a little hole. Well, let's see if my theory works. Either that or I've just wasted $20 on whole, <laughs> the whole business, but let's see if this is gonna work. I'm always surprised when my thought processes actually work. All right, so. Oops, we're not quite big enough. Technically, what we do is, you know, you push this down, pops up, and it locks into the other pole. But the hole's not quite big enough, so I am going to try and shove it back out and do a little hole maneuvering here. I don't want to wreck the button. Push it out of the way. Oh, it just needs a little bit bigger. Oops. Oopsies. <laughs> Oopsies. Almost. I'm not quite where it needs to be. We'll just push that in, push that out of the way. See if we can't get it a little bit rounder. I'm getting too excited here. I'm gonna make the videos too long about this. We're up to nine, almost nine minutes. I find when I'm watching how-to videos, I like to watch them struggle with things that I might come up with. There we go. All right, so now we've got it. See it's up there? All right, so now I've got my initial spring pin part. And this, unless I should put it in the other way. I'm going to try and go in the opposite direction to see if that gives me a better pop. It likes being in that hole. <laughs> but it's not up there as high as I'd like it. It keeps, it keeps getting grabbed by something. There we go. 
All right, that's perfect. I'm gonna leave it like that. Half the least resistance. All right, so this can just go down over this like that. And I can just slide that back over that. Because this thing here, or let's keep it right off. It's even better. I'll just put that over this. Okay, so we got our spring lock in. This here has no function other than aesthetics so I'm just going to push that back down ah. all right so if you want this all the way out I'm going to go right between this part and this part so that'll lock in so that'll be its lengthiest extension. So well, I'm gonna put that right on you, Ryan. I'm gonna go right between the move and the lock. Straighten them out also. Yeah, you have a valve here. Edge of the wheel. Make sure it's really nice and round. Because you're going through the metal and you got to go up and make that lock. Alright. I'm going to continue this down and you don't need to see that part. But I just want you to see if this part works. Alright, so this here had this locking thing that didn't lock. I have now drilled a hole, put in my spring clip. I'm going to push the spring clip up. I'm going to slide it down. And now I have a locking hole. How easy that was? Hey, if a 70 year old lady can do it, you can do it. All right? So as I put more and more of these in, I'd probably go down probably, I don't know, six or eight inches each down 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 until I get to the bottom so that if I want a small awning or let's say I want to use this inside my tent as part of the tent process this part keeps going up now this so far this part's working but I've got extra spring clips just in case you can get those on Amazon button spring clips just put that in and there you go I just made a $19 defective Chinese pole turn into a very solid tent pole. Now I'm happy. I can go camping and I know this is not going to land on my head in the rain where it gets full of water on the awning part. So don't trust any twisty things. Just drill, put a spring clip, you got yourself, um, now you got a $40 pole. All right, signing off. If you like this, give us a thumbs up and subscribe because Ryan loves to see our numbers go up. <laughs>